better but let's do it now you see i have increased the speed of the dc motor voltage has increased to 9.46 let's go more we have reached around 12 volts and crossing almost 15 volts and close to 17 volts let's go even higher 17.18 volts you see that the voltage regulator fixes the output voltage of the alternator to around 13 volts and we have gained around 18 volts more 90 20 volts guys 20 volts let's go more 20 to 23 volts <laughs> a 12 volts alternator is producing 24 volts almost and we are doing almost full here and the belt can break at any time okay let's reach 24 volts and see what happens <laughs> here we are we are reaching 26 volts so let's turn it off <laughs> that was seriously a great experiment guys Hi guys, in my previous video you saw me make a powerful high current 3 phase rectifier from two single phase rectifiers 35 amperes each. So today in this video I'm going to test this rectifier on a car alternator, okay? Which you have already seen in one of my previous videos. Now guys, if you look closely on its back you will see that the 3 phase rectifier is missing and the voltage regulator is also missing and the brush terminal are out blue and red over here and since there is no rectifier only three wires output wires are present this one this one this one which are the three phase so to get a DC output we will need to add a rectifier let's move on to the connection of the rectifier so take the rectifier and place it on any of the screws available you see here there are three screws this one this one this one so I'm going to choose this one because the placing is just easier and no other reason and you can see that I've also placed this sheet with uh, this hole or bore in it which is going to help me place it rigidly so you see that it goes like this and I have this nut now tighten up this one also and now we have a pretty good physically stable three phase rectifier on the body of the alternator just as another part that is attached to an alternator so guys let's first remove the final output wires which are these two the red and the black okay they are getting in the way of me connecting the rectifier electrically to the alternator and here they are removed i'm going to connect it afterwards so so let's electrically connect all the three together not together to the to their respective pins with the help of the clips so the first is the blue one attached to the first wire of three phase second the black one okay you see that's the black one another AC done now all that is left is the last one taking it from below and we have the third one also connected so guys all the three wires from the rectifier the three phase wires from this custom made rectifier have been connected to the output wires from the armature winding of the car alternator which were these three one two and three okay now comes the part of getting the output from the rectifier this one is black okay so negative connected positive in process and done so guys positive negative both have been connected and finally we have the two wires on which the entire generated output voltage and current will be available in the form of dc or direct current okay let's place the alternator like this and we have 
a robust setup over here easy to operate and yeah this piece of the rectifier it has a great quality that uh, it can handle a surge current of up to 400 amperes and a continuous current of up to 50 amperes because of the two rectifiers and one rectifier has a capability of only up to 35 amps so let's test it without any further delay now guys you might have already seen this laptop charger of my now if you look closely you will see that it's rated at 12 volts and 5 amperes which is what I'm going to feed this alternator with on its rotor winding although the current is not going to be exactly 5 amperes because the rotor winding does not need so much current for excitation it excites even at 1 amps or 1.5 amps here are the two wires positive for red and black for negative which will be connected on these two wires black being the negative will be connected to the blue first let's connect the red wire okay red wire has been connected you see now comes the black but i will connect it afterwards first i will have to connect a load on these two terminals or a meter and then do some hand rotation and rope rotation here as you can see that i have this car headlamp bulb 55 watts so let's connect it to the two final output wires of the rectifier okay as you can see that it has been connected now guys let's wound the thread on the pulley of the alternator and then see how bright it glows okay this much should be fine one more done okay now keep watching the bulb over here oh you see now let's turn off the lights and see how good it is this time so guys finding thread once again although the pulley gets really tight when i pull it if the pulley had been bigger uh, then the pulling part would be a little bit easier and the bulb would have blown even better but let's do it now ah yeah it is good this way also now guys here as you can see that i have the multimeter so uh, let's point it towards dc voltage measurement mode okay and this is the heat sink that i'm using it that i'm using as support okay multimeter has been connected well guys uh, it seems that the multimeter should be closer and the alternator should be on the other side because it's not clear yeah and now it is visible okay so let's wound the thread and see how much voltage it indicates now guys i am measuring the maximum voltage possible that this alternator is going to generate okay and why am i doing that because i have removed the voltage regulator or you can say that i've bypassed the voltage regulator so the alternator is free to generate as much voltage as possible depending upon the rpm i give here okay the voltage regulator limits the output voltage to 12.5 or maybe 13 volts but there is no limit now i have added separate rectifiers okay so let's mount the thread and see what happens okay so guys keep watching the display screen here okay go as you saw it was around 17.5 volts dc now guys this is a very good multimeter with 600 amps current display and all but there is one problem is the super fast display okay you see that i have to rotate and then it takes little time to display the exact voltage which is not the case with this cheap one although it does not have so many functions and uh, easiness but still it's uh, spontaneous time instantaneous time is really good so let's disconnect this multimeter and switch it with the other one and then do the same test okay so multimeter has been connected once again winding thread let's move it aside keep watching the display screen okay go you saw that it was somewhere around 19.5 volts now guys you have already seen the voltage now let's pointed towards the current measurement mode 10 amperes okay and move the wire pointer like this okay keep watching the display screen guys okay 7.5 amperes that was pretty good although uh, the pulley is very small it was really hard for me to pull the thread and 12 7 is 84 so the maximum power 
that I am producing over here is 84 watts. If we consider only 12 volts, then it is 84 watts. But if we consider 20 volts because of no voltage regulator, then this power is going to increase from 84 to 20 into 7.5. So uh, 7 to the 14, 140 and uh, like 0.5 extra. So you see that how removing the voltage regulator actually increases the overall output power of a car alternator. You can use a stable buck converter to reduce the voltage output voltage from 20 to 12 volts just as in solar panels and you can get more power output from the same alternator. Let's give it one more try. Go! You saw 9.54 amperes, almost 10 amperes. That is the maximum capability of this multimeter to read. Otherwise, it is going to get damaged. I mean, the shunt resistance inside it. Now, guys, I have this really big 250 watts bulb. Okay, you see 24 volts and 250 watts starlight. So let's connect this and see how bright it glows or even if it is possible for this alternator to glow this just by hand rotation. Okay, so the bulb has been safely connected. Complete the thread winding part. Done. Okay, connection made. Okay, keep watching the bulb over here. Okay. Oh, it was really difficult. The tungsten filament is really thick. Yeah, and it is hot. Now guys, let's try it once again in full close-up. You see? Okay. Yeah, that's the max I can do. Now guys, here as you can see that I have connected uh, a very powerful large DC motor, permanent magnet DC motor to the car alternator with the help of this belt. Okay. And... Uh, the rating of this DC motor is 1.5 HP, RPM 4000 volts, 180, 7.5 amperes and field permanent magnet. And you see that here I have this rectifier installed and no voltage regulator. And I want to see what is the maximum voltage I can achieve if I bypass the voltage regulator, meaning no voltage regulator at all. Okay, so let's connect the DC motor supply to this motor controller. Okay, so let's turn on the supply now. Okay, go. And now let's connect the final excitation terminal from the laptop charger. So guys, the output voltage as you can see is around 8 volts, only 8 volts DC. Let's increase it by increasing the RPM of the DC motor of course. You see, I have increased the speed of the DC motor, voltage has increased to 9.46. Let's go more. We have reached around 12 volts. And crossing almost 15 volts and close to 17 volts. Let's go even higher. 17.18 volts. You see that the voltage regulator fixes the output voltage of the alternator to around 13 volts and we have gained around 18 volts more 90 20 volts guys 20 volts let's go more 20 to 23 volts <laughs> a 12 volts alternator is producing 24 volts almost and we are doing almost full here and the belt can break at any time okay let's reach 24 volts and see what happens <laughs> here we are we are reaching 26 volts so let's turn it off <laughs> that was seriously a great experiment guys so you see that if we bypass the voltage regulator if we remove the voltage regulator from a car alternator we can go 
to much higher volts than to what it is designed for so guys i hope you liked or enjoyed this video please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe see you in the next one with more wonderful videos related to alternators and dc motors okay hit that subscribe button and bell icon bye